Hello, welcome to Messy Church. My name is Kate and I'm very excited as this is my first time joining you guys. Now, last Friday was a really special day. It was 75 years since VE Day. Whether you were playing outdoors, indoors, having afternoon tea or whether you had a street party, I hope you had a really lovely day. The end of the war was all about creating peace for everyone. And this is the theme that we're going to think about today. But before we do that, I know I've got loads of energy from being stuck inside all day, and I'm sure you have too. So we're going to sing and dance and worship God. So find somewhere in the room that you can dance and join with me as we sing one of my favourite songs, Best Best Friend. think about the idea of peace. What does this word mean to you? Does it mean this? Or do you think about this really well-known symbol? Well, when I think of the word peace, I often associate it with war. I think that peace comes after a war when the war is over. But actually, there are lots of places and situations where we find peace. Can you think of any? In Hebrews 12 verse 14, God encourages us all make every effort to live in peace with everyone. We can think about this Bible verse when we're at school, at home, or by ourselves. When we're at school, it is important to keep peace between each other. This can be making and keeping friends, sorting out arguments, letting go of bad feelings, and learning how to listen to each other. It is also important to live in peace at home. I know sometimes it can be very difficult to feel peaceful at home when that annoying brother or sister takes something of yours or your parents ask you to clear the table or tidy the room. But being at peace with each other at home is all about working together as a team, sharing and helping. 
finally, and possibly one of the most important ones, is feeling at peace with yourself. This is learning how to calm yourself when you're upset, coping with fear and your worries and reflecting on your days. So now Kath is going to show us a fantastic craft idea that she has created that will help us to remember about the idea of peace. Hello, I'm Kath. Today we're going to create a dove of peace. You'll need paper or card, blue paint, white paint, paint brushes, PVA glue, cotton wool or cotton wool balls and some felt tip pens. As I didn't have any blue paper or card, I've painted mine. I did add a little bit of water to the blue paint so that it doesn't come out too dark and it doesn't matter if it's a bit streaky. Now you need to let that paint dry, so put it to one side. Next, you need to paint your hand with white paint. And put it on your paper or card. Press down the palm of your hand so that it touches the paper. And now we need to just paint a little tail. I'll just do that and then I'll show you what I've done. There we are. Hope you can see the tail as well down here. Now you need to leave this to dry too, just for a little while. When it is dry, put some PVA glue, not too much, not on the head or the tail, and try to keep, when you're putting the, your cotton wool balls on, tease it out like this. Try to leave your fingerprints at the top showing. There we are. Like this. You can take you could take a bit more time over it than I have. There we are. You can use two or three cotton wool balls. Next we need to do the detail. A beak, an orange beak. Like that. And a little black eye. Like that. And a leaf with a green pen. We're going to draw a little branch with some leaves. Like that. When you've finished your um, dove, you could write peace along the top, like this is one that I made before. Here we are, it's back to front again, isn't it? Never mind, I hope you enjoy making one of these. Thank you for watching, bye bye. Thanks so much, Kath, that looks amazing. So how are you gonna help create peace in the environments that you are in? What could you do at home? What could you do by yourself? And what could you do at school when we go back? Have a think now, and if you're with an adult, have a chat with them about it. It could be that you're going to help out around the house, share and help your siblings, listen and be kind to others, forgive people who have upset you, or 
thinking about that internal piece. Think about your feelings, dealing with the fears and worries when they come, making sure you're talking to someone about them if you need to. Things are so different at the moment to how they usually are, and our lives have been disrupted in so many ways. It's easy to become frustrated and anxious, but God is always with us and can support us and help us to feel peaceful. So as you go into your weekend and into next week, think about what you can do to create a more peaceful atmosphere for you and those around you. Let's end with a prayer. Dear God, thank you that you are with us. Please help everyone who is not feeling peaceful at the moment, whether they're in the middle of a war, whether there is conflict in their country, in their school, in their home or with themselves. Please help us to feel at peace in these uncertain times even when we are feeling worried or fearful. Amen. So that's it for this week. We would love to see some of your doves. Feel free to co um, post them in the comments below. Thank you for coming today and see you next week. God bless.